let's think backwards. Let's say if I have just been given a ratio a by b, let's say is equal to uh, 8 by 7. Okay. Now this information is enough to give me all possible percentage information, which would later mean that whenever you want a percentage information, we should just put the numbers in in a numerator by denominator form. Rest we'll come get out of it. So let's say if I move the b here. This becomes A is equal to 8 by 7 into B. Now, this is 8 by 7. What does it mean in fraction and percentages? We know that 1 by 7 is 14.28 percent. Okay. So, 8 by 7 would mean 7 by 7. If, if instead of 8 by 7, had it been 7 by 7, would I mean A is equal to B or A is 100 percent of B? They are equal to each other. But there is an 8 by 7. That means there is an increase of 1 by 7. So I can say A is B plus 14.28 percent of B, or A is 14.28 percent more than B. Is that okay? Or I could have also said A is 114.28% of P more than and of these language forms. Is that okay? But this would depend on me knowing that this is nothing but a, I mean it's a fraction but it also represents a percentage form and I can use, interpret this in the percentage form and this is what I'm doing here. I could have also rewritten this as B is equal to 7 by 8 of B. Right? Now, B is first of all, uh, 1 by 8 is 12.5%, 7 by 8 is 87.5%. So, I can straight away this 7 by 8 in my head becomes 87.5% of A. So, B is 87.5% of A. But there could be a more than less than form also. And obviously, I can see here it is less. How much less? Then the denominator, one less than the denominator. So had they been equal, they would have been 8 by 8, but there is one short, so there is a subtraction of 1 by 8, right? So B is, I could, or I could write it as, this is the same thing as B is equal to A minus 1 by 8 of A. This is 8 by 8 if you want to make it easy in your head, right? Yeah, so B is 1 by 8 of A less than A and 1 by 8 is 12.5 percent. So the same information I could write as B is 12.5 percent less than A. If you are getting confused with this, it's a very good idea because I mean th things are happening. There are only two numbers and which number is considered to be 100 is totally up to you when you are de dealing with purer numbers. I mean just numbers. Not, not story forms as such as of now. Yeah. So I hope this idea makes sense. So I'm reading. If I have the ratio, I have the percentage information. So what I would really like to say is ratio and percentages are the same thing. Please get that idea in your head. So if you know one, you know the other. Maybe there is a little bit of interpretation involved and movement involved. But otherwise, they, they basically they are tying up two numbers, right? All of this information is just connecting two numbers. So percentage is the relationship specifically between two numbers. And one of them is considered to be the base or, you know, 100 part. Yeah. Okay, so now comes the fun part, uh, applying this in, in, in problem situations, okay. So let's try with a very standard problem. Uh, length of a rectangle is increased by 20%, okay. And uh, breadth of the rectangle is increased by 25%. So the question is, what is the percentage change in the area? Okay. Now there can be many ways of doing it, and we'll discuss a couple of extra ways uh, after we've done the multiplying factor with. So when I look at this information, length has increased by 20%. That means there was a length. 20% is 1 by 5. Increase of 20% would mean 6 by 5. If you don't know this, how this came, you need to go back. So length into 6 by 5 is equal to the new length. We want to be very familiar because obviously it's connecting two numbers. This percentage is connecting the length and the new length. Similarly, the breadth has increased by 25%. 25% is 1 by 4. Increase of 1 by 4 would make it 5 by 4. This is equal to the new breadth. This is the information which is given already. So I'm just covering that here. Okay. And the question is about the area. And I know the area of a rectangle is length into breadth. 
I want to find out the percentage change in the area, right? So that means I have to find the relationship between area and the new area. This is the old area. The new area will be new length into new breadth. Is that okay? So now if I start replacing instead of new, I mean, I'll write it here for space. New area is equal to new length into new breadth. Now new length is 6 by 5 of old length, 6 by 5 into old length. So put this here, 6 by 5 into length. And new breadth is 5 by 4 of breadth. You can put these two multiplying factors together. So you get 6 by 5 into 5 by 4 into length into breadth. This length into breadth is nothing but the area only, so put it here. So you get new area is 6 by 5 into 5 by 4 times the area. This 5 5 gets cancelled, you get 6 by 4 which also becomes resolved to 3 by 2. So this new area is 3 by 2 of old area. 1 by 2 is 50%, so 3 by 2 would become 150%. So the new area is 150% of the old area new area is 150% of the old area or the new area is 50% more than the old area because this can be rewritten as a is equal to a plus half of a right so uh, the area has increased by 50% but this was a long way of doing it we have already done variations okay the question is still the same the length has increased by 20%, the increase by 20%, the breadth has increased by 25%, what is the percentage change in the area? But we want to do it much faster than that. We still want to cover that information, L into 6 by 5 is equal to L dash and B into 5 by 4 is equal to B dash because this is nothing but given information, I am just writing the this is actually reducing the size of your old way of writing equation also. So area is directly proportional to length and breadth. And we know from our variation studies that uh, this symbol just basically shifts the multiplying factor here. The multiplying factor for length in the story is 6 by 5, right? Old value to new value to go there, we're multiplying it by 6 by 5. Old value to new value, we're multiplying it by 5 by 4 to get there. So the multiplying factor for length and breadth will straight away get applied on the area so a into 6 by 5 into 5 by 4 is equal to a dash right is that okay so we are even removing the equation and we are doing it even more in our head the multiplying factor for length will get multiplied to the area the multiplying factor for area will get multiplied to uh, for breadth will get multiplied to the area and where are we getting this multiplying factor from we are converting this percentage information into this form uh, uh, and we know how to do it from the previous 10-15 minutes of the video. Yeah, I hope that idea made sense to you. We look at a few more applications of the same thing so that the idea gets settled in our head and uh, then we'll move on to other topics. So let's stick to the same example. Uh, length has increased by let's say 10% okay and the breadth has reduced by 10% what is the percentage change in the area okay so length has increased by 10 percent this should be faster and faster now the multiplying factor is 11 by 10 10 percent is 1 by 10 1 by 10 is getting added l into 11 by 10 this is getting reduced by 10 percent 10 percent is 1 by 10 reduction of 1 by 10 from 10 by 10 would be 9 by 10 so breadth into 9 by 10 is equal to b dash okay so now I have the multiplying factor for length and breadth. I know now variation area is directly proportional to length and breadth. Multiplying factors for both things will get multiplied to the area. Area into 11 by 10 into 9 by 10 is equal to the new area. Now if I work this out, this becomes area into 99 by 100 is equal to the new area. So 99 by 100 obviously means 99%. The new area is 99% of the old area. Or how much is it less than? I mean, it is a it, it, one less than the denominator, or one by hundred less than the new area is one by hundred less than the old area. So, or one by hundred means one percent. So the new area is one percent less than the old area. Okay. Let's just twist the problem even more here. Yeah? 
let's say if I tell you that the length actually increased by 50% okay but the area only increased by 20% okay uh, so what is the percentage change in the breadth now this time the question we have length and we have area so let's get the multiplying factors out of the way first L into 3 by 2 is equal to L dash and A into 6 by 5 is equal to A dash so first of all you should think that the length has increased by so much but the area has not increased by so much why is that the reason must be because the breadth has reduced okay but you don't have to worry about anything if you understand variations here we're talking about breadth right so we had this basic relationship but we have the multiplying factor for area and we have the multiplying factor for length and we know we should shift it all to one side all the things right so when i look at this relationship the breadth is directly proportional to area that means uh, whatever is happening to area will happen to breadth also right so area multiplying factor is 6 by 5 breadth multiplying factor would also be 6 by 5 but the breadth and the length are inversely proportional to each other because it's in the denominator inversely proportional to each other the multiplying factor for length is 3 by 2 so the multiplying factor for breadth would become inverse of that it would become 2 by 3 right and this is equal to the new breadth if i work this this gets cancelled and we get b into 4 by 5 is equal to b dash 4 by 5 means new breadth is 80 percent 1 by 5 is 20 percent so 4 by 5 would be 80 percent new breadth is 80 percent of breadth or there is a reduction of 1, this is 4 by 5, there is a reduction of 1 by 5, 1 by 5 means 20 percent, that means the new breadth is 20 percent less than the old breadth, okay. So this was nothing but a twist in the question so that you know that direct and inverse is also coming here. So that's why variation and understanding variation and how this percentage is getting converted into very very important because then we can do such questions very very quickly and orally almost in our head, we don't need to write down much stuff here. Yeah?